Horses are parading for race number nine, the Time Dancer, for Illinois Conceived and Fold three-year-old pacing fillies. Here they are for race nine. One is Fox Valley Page, owned by the Ubadi Jindro Stable of Lincolnshire, Illinois. Brooke Nichols trains, Mike LaChance will drive. Two is Fox Valley Yvette, owned by Lyle Lacey of Exeter, Missouri. Ray Hanna trains, Tony Morgan gets the call. Three, the three is Determination Plus, owned by John and James Lamparis of Palace Park and Naperville. Teresa Ledford trains. Dave McGee drives. For Sarah Smile, owned by Midwood Stable of Brooklyn, New York. Irvin Miller, the trainer. Andy Miller on the bike. Five, Long Island Lolita, owned by Lloyd Dalton of Nancy, Kentucky, and Harry Copenhaver of Hinsdale. Dalton trains. Ken Holiday is up. Six, Cyberwave. The champion two-year-old filly, owned by Stanley Miller of Edna Green, Indiana. Stan Miller trains. Sam Widger gets a call. And number seven, Liberation Day, owned by Ryan Anderson of Crete, by Greg Pustacini of Auburn, California. Joe Anderson trains. Ryan Anderson drives. That's the field of fillies for the Time Dancer. 35,000 on the line, and they'll be at the gate in three minutes. And a number of other fillies in that field capable of the upset. They're at the post for the championship of the Time Dancer. Gates rolling. Seasonal winner, 200,000 determination plus in this field. Six join her, and here they come. They're off and pacing. Long Island Lolita first away on the outside. Inside her, Determination Plus gets away well. That pair battle for the lead. Out third is Fox Valley Yvette. To the inside, fourth, Fox Valley Page. Five is Sarah Smile getting out. Six is Cyberwave at the back of the field now as they slip around the turn, racing toward the backstretch as, as is Liberation Day. And off stride, dropping out of the picture, is Fox Valley Page. They race past the quarter. The leader, as they reach that juncture, in uh, 28, uh, no time for the quarter. It looked to be 27 in a fraction. As they head down the back stretch. it's Determination Plus with the lead by a length and a half. At her back second as they roll down the back stretch is Long Island Lolita racing third as Fox Valley Yvette. Still fourth down the backside, Sarah Smile. Five is Cyberwave. Six as they approach the half-mile mark is Liberation Day. After a break, at the back of the field is Fox Valley Page. They reach the half, and McGee sends Determination Plus past that station in 55-3. Now the front panel put up in 27-2, so it's a 27-2 front quarter, half 55-3. They're in the upper turn. Determination Plus maintains the advantage of a length and a half. Right there second is Long Island Lolita. Now the field is bunching. Front six are in contention, and on the outside, here comes Cyberwave. She's underway for Sammy Widger. Cyberwave mounts a serious challenge on the outside. Determination Plus on the inside. Cyberwave's alongside her. Racing third. No place to go. Long Island Lolita backed out. Coming on fourth is Liberation Day. They're past three quarters. On the inside, Determination Plus. 124 turns for home. Cyberwave applying pressure on the outside. And in the chase is Liberation Day. No place to go for Long Island Lolita. They're in the final eighth mile. On the inside, Determination Plus. Cyberwave gamely trying. Here comes Long Island Lolita with a great shot. Here she comes on the inside. It's going to be Determination Plus over Long Island Lolita. Cyberwave was home third, four to Fox Valley Yvette. Fading to be five was Liberation Day. Sarah Smile was six. Fox Valley Page never in the chase after that early break. 152 in that one. Determination Plus wins again. On her way to being the Illinois champion for 2001, this filly now with $235,000 earned this year, most of that in ICF competition. She did win the American National, but the rest of it came in Illinois races. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the most outstanding filly.
of this racing season, bred in the state of Illinois. She's owned by John and James Lamparis of Palace Park and Naperville. Teresa Ledford trains the filly. She's driven by Hall of Famer Dave McGee. She's Determination Plus. Into victory lane goes that great filly, now with nine wins this year, 235,000. She's a sportsmaster, as we mentioned, from Darling Clementine by Cam Fella. Phil Langley joins the ceremony. Sammy Fark, the manager of the DuCoin State Fair, about to make presentation of the Time Dancer Trophy to the Lamparises. And our thanks to Sammy for her enthusiasm regarding harness racing, for her efforts, and all of our legislative work. We appreciate what she does for us. She's been a true friend here at DuCoin to the sport of harness racing. Teresa Ledford will lead the winning filly out of victory lane, where she's been eight times before today. And barring any late season sudden changes in form, she will be the Illinois pacing three-year-old filly of the year. Bred by Fox Valley Standard Breads of Sherman, Illinois, Determination Plus, David McGee.